Okay. On the left-hand side, we have a composition called Distant Answers 3 Mix, which sounds like this. And on the middle, we have an animation, which looks like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Evolving Spaces. Episode 20, Chapter Loose Ends, Distance, Answers, Extend, and Stance. We re-entered by reflecting that we want to compose music for a gallery animation, which we just showed you a little part of. Um, we realized that the composition is going to go its own way, as all our compositions do. Uh, but we're also playing off of 2D, two-dimensional image arranging, and getting some ideas by going back and forth. Uh, and we're also continuing to explore tonal spaces. So what we have done is we have picked uh, three scales to work with, the pentatonic parallel 6, 3, and 2, and we've been composing in them... Most recently, we came up with some dyads that look like this. And the importance of that is that these are using certain notes and no others. Which we can show by looking at this. This scale uses slightly different notes, and this scale uses also slightly different notes. So what we've been doing is uh, working our way up from getting all three scales identified, uh, making uh, improv compositions as we go. They sound different enough that we thought we have three themes. That we could sort our um, images. Now we have an awful lot of images. We have an awful lot of images to work with. At the moment, what we're doing is we have made some arpeggios that sound like this. And we have sorted into our, uh, we have 52 images, but 17 of them uh, are what we call three-quarter body pose. And these are images by Matt Delirium, a digital artist on Renderosity, who has given us permission to work with their images for a gallery animation. So what we're going to do to wrap this up is simply play what we've got so far, which is 66 seconds, and kind of step through manually these images, because we're still experimenting with how we're going to subgroup these images. So here we go. As you can tell, uh, we're still figuring out the timing. Basically, if we use all 17 of these three-quarter images, they would be three seconds apiece, and we would go through here and mark uh, the intervals and maybe custom fit them. So we're still working on that part. So what we're going to do to bring us home is play that test animation that we've already done, which was using uh, a simple rhythm figure and two of these images. Here we go.
So that ends today's episode. What we really like about working with the images is uh, cross-dimensional thinking, going back from exploring tonal space sound to visual space images. Uh, we really appreciate Mad Delirium giving us permission to do a second gallery animation. We did the first one um, two years ago. Give a shout out right here. Mad Delirium. And uh, they are on Renderosity. Our ideas for next time are, uh, we've been doing arpeggios. Da, 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 what we're trying to do is get a really bouncy, um, uh, fast-moving composition that has a lot of different changes in tone and feel to try to start matching those images. Um, uh, for example, maybe we could uh, modify what you just heard to fit a little bit better. Shout outs to Methodic Innovator, Distinguisher, Creator, Playful Improviser, and as always, Mad Delirium. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.